Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's me, New Time Travel Jaime88. I'm back with another video. And today, in a celebration of Paramount's 109th birthday today, I am going to show off my Paramount Home Entertainment VHS Collection Update 2021. Look how much all my Paramount tapes has been grown since my previous videos. If you haven't checked out the last year's video, it's up there on YouTube. Now, I got a whole heap of Paramount tapes. And I got a lot. So this will take a couple parts to do this. So, in the first row, what you see, I will be showing off my Guff Weston variant. And also, I will be doing my Paramount Communication tape. Not fitting all of it at one time, but we'll see how it goes. So anyway, without further ado, let's get down to business, shall we? All right. First up, here I got is the 1979 VHS of Saturday Night Fever. With John Travolta, Karen Gorney, and it's directed by John Badham, and the film is from 1977. And if you, it still has a sticker price of $29.95 on there. Rated R, and it's 118 minutes. There is a rare PG variant of this, which is difficult to find. I do have the Another copy of this, which is 1994, which I'm going to show that when I do my Paramount Communication tapes. Original full open box tape. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. The 48th week of 1983. And this, unfortunately, does not have the 1979 Paramount Pitch Home Video Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning, with the blue background. Mm -mm. Instead, it has the multicolor changing warning screen instead of the blue warning screen. All right. Next tape. Let me put it right there for time being. Then also the 1979 VHS of The Little Prince with Richard Kel Keeley, Bob Fosse, Stephen Warner, and the late Gene Wilder, directed by Stanley Doney. And the film is from 1974. Nice artwork. And this is a mid-80s reprint. Ready G in his 88 minutes. Here's the sticker label. It's got the tan lid. Here's the end label. Printed in the 25th week of 1985. The next tape also a 1979 VHS of The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance with James Stewart and John Wayne. Also starring Vera Miles, Lee Marvin, Edmund O'Brien, Andy Devine, Kim Murphy, directed by John Ford. The film is from 1962. This is also another mid-80s reprint. Not rated and it's 123 minutes, black and white. Here's the sticker label. So this is 1962, not 1963. Here's the end label and the print date, October 17th, 1989, which you can barely see it. And it's printed in the 40, uh, 42nd week of 1989. Since this copy has a print date, we all know what this will have at the end. Okay. Next up, the 1983 VHS of Roman Holiday with Audrey Gregory Peck introducing Audrey Hepburn, also starring 
Eddie Albert, directed by William Wyler, and the film is from 1953. Someone used to own a Regina Rose. She used to own this tape, but she nice enough to to give it to me. So I saw this at my local thrift store. 118 minutes, not rated, black and white. Here's a tape with the sticker label, and it's got the Paramount 75th anniversary on the tape. Here's the end label. 49th week of 1988. It's got the sticker underneath the sticker label. So this has the white screen of death and moaning sound on there. Okay. Next up, the, also the 1983 VHS of Donovan's Reeve with... John Wayne, also starring Lee Marvin, Elizabeth Allen, Jack Warden, Cesar Romero, Dick Foran, and Dorothy L'Amour, directed by John Ford, and the film is from 1963. I got a lot of John Wayne films. 109 minutes, not rated. It's in color. Here's the sticker label. Still got the 75th anniversary sticker on there. Here's the end label. The print date is March 4th, 1988. And it's printed in the 16th week of 1988. Since this has the print date, we all know what it has at the end. Now here's another 1988. Three VHS of Uncle Sam Magoo featuring the voice of Jim Backus as Mr. Magoo directed by Abe Levito the film is from 1970 I have another Mr. Magoo tape which I'm going to show that when I do my Paramount communication tape Rady G and his 53 minutes 1970 here's the sticker label Here's the end label. Printed in the 25th week of 1985. Former rental from an unknown video store. <clears throat> I know Classic Media or somebody now owns the rights to Mr. Mugu. I forgot which... Uh, production company now owns Mr. Magoo. Someone else, let me know in the comments below. Here's the 1985 VHS of Mary White. This movie has never gotten a DVD released, only on video cassette. It doesn't say who starred in this film, but please let me know. This film is directed by Judd Taylor. The film is from 1977, right up there. For some odd reason, it says, if you can barely see it, let me zoom out real quick. It says here 1982, but that is 1977, what I, I somebody told me my last time. I forgot which YouTuber said, told me that. Not rated 102 minutes. Here's the sticker label with a tan lid, former rental from Blockbuster. Here's the end label. The 29th, no, the tw yes, the 29th week of 1985. This has the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning. Here's another 1985 VHS of Daryl. I mean, here's the next movie, also in 1985, which I meant. Daryl. The movie came out in 1985 with Mary Beth Hurt, Michael McKean, Catherine Walker, Colleen Kemp, Joseph Summer, and Barlett Oliver, directed by Simon Wincher, and the film is from 1985. Internationally, the film was made by Columbia Pictures, but unfortunately, the Columbia logo is not showing, just the Paramount Picture logo. Rated PG and it's 100 minutes. I've seen this movie a dozen times. It's a good film. 
I also got it on DVD. Here's the sticker label. It's got the 75th anniversary on there. Here's the end label. And the print date is August 20th, 1987. Printed in the 35th week of 1987. So we all know what this will have at the end. Next up, also a 1985 VHS. Another film from 85, Witness, with Harrison Ford, also starring Kelly McGinnis, Lucas Haas, Alexander Gutenhoff, and Danny Glover. Directed by Peter Weir, and the film is from 1985. Rated R and is 112 minutes. Here's the sticker label, former rental from Video Villa. Here's the end label. The 11th week of 1985. And Uncle Sam Magoo and I believe Donovan's Reef, not sure, has the same week in your code. All right. This, I'm recording a better copy, better camera quality. Here's a 1986 VHS of the Big Bust. With Joseph Bologna and Stocker Channing, also starring John Beck and Renee Abinjawal. And it's directed by, uh, unfortunately is Block. But can someone know who directed this film? Let me know so I can give you a shout out. Big Bus is a 1976 film, rated PG and it's 88 minutes, and this is the reprint, by the way, because of this. Here's the sticker label, it's got the 2001 tape, tape number is 138, and it's printed in the 26th week of 2001. Next up, also a 1986 VHS of Young Sherlock Holmes. The film came out in 1985, directed by Barry Levinson. Levinson. And does not say who starred in this movie, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. It's a good movie. Brady PG-13, 109 minutes. Co-produced by Amblin Entertainment. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. And the print date is September 5th, 1986. It's printed in the 36th week of 1986. Former rental from Tapetronic Videos. Since this copy has a print date, we all know what it has at the end. And I'm going to show you one more tape before we go to part two, which is the 1986 VHS of Chinatown with Jack Nicholson. Also starring Faye Dunaway, John Hillerman, Perry Lopez, Burt Young, and John Houston. Directed by Roman Polanski. And it's the films from 1974. I also have the letterbox tape of this film. Ready Art and it's 131 minutes. Sticker label and label. The print date is October 21st, 1986. It's printed in the 43rd week of 1986. We all know what it has at the end. All right, that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two.